one of these um, for you guys, and then I'll kind of show why this kind of makes sense or how this helps us. So we can't solve for y explicitly, but we can still take the derivative of this function. So if we're going to take the derivative with respect to x, because that's our angle of yx plus y squared of 2. Now, really, I'm taking dy d over dx of y, yx, sorry, plus d over dx of y squared equals d over dx of 2. OK? So just remember, in this case, we have the product rule. So we already did this, but I'll do this kind of quickly. I'm at least going to write it out. There, remember, doing the product rule, we have to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So that's going to be dy dx times x plus y. The derivative of x with respect to x, we know that's 1, but let's just use our notation here for a second, plus the derivative of y, with, um, y squared with respect to x. Well, we're still going to take the derivative, but again, think of the y as like a chain rule, right? When you're doing the chain rule, you apply the derivative, and then you take the derivative of the inside function, right? So we take the derivative of y squared, and then we have to take the derivative of y because that's the inside function. So the derivative of y with respect to x is dy over dx, applying just the basic chain rule. And then over here, we is equal to 0. Okay. So now, what we want to do when we're solving for this, we want to solve for dy dx, right? Isn't that what we've done in all our problems, is solve for dy dx? All right, so um, what we'll want to do is get all the terms. We want to get all the dy dx's to the same side. So we have dy over dx, x plus y plus 2y dy dx equals 0. All right, so I just simplified that a little bit. Let's subtract the y on both sides, and let's, subtract, let's factor out a dy dx. When I factor out a dy dx, I'm left with x plus 2y equals a negative y. Does everybody see what I did there? I subtracted the y on both sides, left me with dy dx x plus 2y dy, dy dx. I factor them out, leave me with the x plus 2y. And now I can just divide by x plus 2y, and I get dy over dx equals negative y over x plus 2y. And that is my derivative.